Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane, and in today's video, we're gonna jump into Maya, and I'm gonna show you how you can fix messy topology, like what we've got here. So, if you look at these two meshes, you can see that they're basically, they, they started out as the same mesh. So here's the one with the crazy topology, which I kind of made crazy on purpose, for the purposes of showing you what we're gonna do today. So you can see that looks ridiculous, and this one here is what happens after I have applied the little method that I'm going to show you today. Look how neat and even it is. It's wonderful. Plus, one of the uh, upsides of it as well is if you look, this one's got a triangle count of over 300,000. This one has just 10,000, which is pretty good. So let's have a look at how I went about doing that. So we'll delete this one. So here's the mesh that I started with. Uh, and I see all kinds of crazy topology for my students. Uh, they're mental. So they'll just delete edges willy-nilly. They'll have um, weird triangles, end guns all over the place. They're out of control. And this is going to be what I'm going to show them in future to sort that out without me having to do it. And this is much quicker than having to do it manually, believe me. So I'll just duplicate the messy one. Here we go. So you can see they are now identical. And this is the one that we're going to fix. So into mesh, we're going to use the remesh option, I think. No, nope, we're going to use retopologize. That makes more sense. So let's open the settings for that. And this tool is new for Maya 2020, so we're lucky to have it. Right, let's check the settings out. So target face count, uh, you can choose what you want that to be. So I think this is what I had it set to previously. So that was 5,000. Let's see how well we go if we drop that down and go for 4,000. Uh, and then we've got the tolerance. So that means that it can go 10% above or below that in trying to re-topologize uh, and the thing that I have changed in fact let's go to we'll reset it this is what it starts out at. face uniformity now I put that all the way up to one because I want square polygons in this and then after I've got them I can go in and delete any edges I don't want because you a lot of them aren't needed in this case but it's so neat and uniform it's a thing of beauty so I'm going to put that all the way up to one so my target face count I decided was going to be 4,000 leave that at 10% Yep, everything else is great. And then we can click on retopologize. So this does take a little while. It is reassuringly not quick, this. It's still much quicker than doing it manually, um, but it does take a little while. So I'll hit retopologize. It'll take about five minutes, I think, for me, because my CPU is shit. Um, and then I'll see you on the other side, and we'll check out the results. Click. Welcome back. So this is now literally just this second finish for me. And you can see that that mesh is now much tidier. Look how even all those polygons are distributed. It's getting me a little bit excited, actually. I might just need a, a moment alone with this mesh. Um, so that's it, basically. So there you go. You can now see um, this mesh now actually probably looks cleaner than the original. Um, I've managed to get the triangle count down. I've managed to sort out the topology. This is beautiful. It also now has edge flow as well. So if I go into edge and double click on any of the edges, it'll go all the way around, uh, which it would not have done before. So that means if I wanted to delete any edges, um, <laughs> it will go mental because now it's retopologizing again to be able to do that. Here's a tip for you. After you've retopologized, make sure you delete your history before moving on. Otherwise, every time you change something, it will go through the whole read topology thing again, uh, which I keep forgetting to do. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. So this video is over. If you liked it, do the thumbs up thing. If you really liked it, do the subscribe thing. Um, I'm going to say thanks to all my amazing patrons who support me every month to keep making videos like this one. We are Game Dev Academy. What we do here is give you videos and tutorials to do with game art and game development. That's what we're about. So if you like it, join us in one way or another, at least subscribe to the channel, and I'll hope to see you in a future video. Bye.